Hello YouTube uh, and not long before I leave Montreal. Today's Friday, I live on Sunday morning, but still lots to do. Um, I just had brunch with my friend Philippe who works for Stingray. Uh, Stingray is a company that provides music uh, pretty much everywhere, in shops, in your home, through a satellite uh, radio, uh, on your television. There's like many places where you can get Stingray. That doesn't reach where I live, uh, but it's quite nice to catch up together and then have lunch with my friend Olivier who I used to work with when I was working for IKEA. Uh, so it's eating and catching up and eating and catching up and eating and catching up and eating more and more and more and more. I feel I'm gonna inflate so much. Um, yeah, and then it's still a beautiful day, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I might take you around uh, the old port a little bit today, later. Uh, yeah, in the meantime, there's a beautiful church behind me and I forgot the name. And I'm on St. Catherine. And visiting Montreal continues. Sorry, there's a lot of sun, I can't, can barely watch the camera. Uh, behind me is the um, area of Montreal where they have all the shows, uh, all the events. Uh, if you come here, it's quiet now at this time of year because it's October, but if you come here around uh, June, July and big part of August, uh, all the streets behind me will be closed, there will be massive stages and will be events, concerts, music festivals and everything, just for that festival, you name it, there's a show pretty much every day. Montreal is also a city where there's an underground network. Uh, I'm actually in the Complex Jardin, which is one big business towers with kind of mall inside, but this one is only connected to the metro, but if I go to another metro station like McGill, um, there will be, I think, something around 20 kilometers of underground shopping retail. So you can go really from one place to another without going out. So in winter, it's quite convenient. Many of the shops will be the same and repeat themselves, but um, I remember I used to live in an apartment tower, which was connected to the metro. So I used to go straight from my apartment downstairs in a metro tunnel, there was a door. And then from there, I was able to go uh, to the gym, to the doctor, to the supermarket, everywhere, without even like walking outside, just wearing a sweater. Uh, so you can easily get lost if you don't know all the shortcuts and all the places, but it's quite convenient in the winter. Where is the sun? I've lost it. Um, it's actually quite cloudy now. Hopefully it won't be raining. I'm just getting close from the old port and uh, behind me is the Notre Dame Cathedral. Not the one in Paris but the one in Montreal. Uh, if you are a fan of Céline Dion you should know, you must know, that she got married here with René. And then uh, yeah, um, you can hear someone singing Chrissy's Isaac behind me. It's quite nice. So we're now in the old port of Montreal. Um, it's a very beautiful place. This is where uh, the first uh, uh, people came to invade Quebec. Uh, I don't know if invade is the correct word, but uh, actually the arrival in Montreal was not called Montreal back then. It was called Ville Marie, Villa Maria. And then um, for now, it is completely different. It's actually a um, recreation area. So you've got uh, a lot of uh, buildings for tourism. Uh, here you've got next beside me, you've got the science center. Uh, behind now we have the, a new uh, big wheel who just arrived I think it's this year I never saw it in the past uh, there's some places you can visit some museums and then in the summer it's full of activities activities around here uh, and when Cirque du Soleil is having a show in town they actually do it in the old port this is where they bring the big top Another place I really like uh, in the old port, if I want to relax a little bit, to go to the spa. So behind me is called Spa de Scandinave. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very nice one. The Scandinave has at least three in Canada. There's one in Montreal, there's one in north of Montreal in Mont Tremblant, which is a ski resort, and one in Whistler, which is the other ski resort, very similar to Tremblant, but north of Vancouver on the west coast. Um, it's very nice. You got a beautiful bath, you got the steam room and a hot room, and then got a nice place if you just want to relax and sleep. Uh, so if you have a few hours that you want like to and wind, try to find a word, uh, that's a very good place to go. Uh, also another one which is about just five, six minutes walking from here is uh, called the Bota Bota. So this one's been made on a boat that doesn't move. And actually I'm not even sure it's a real boat of just a structure that's been parked on the canal. And then uh, this one's got, it, it's bigger, there's a whole circuit of water, different kind of bath. Uh, and both of them are offering massage service. So if you're around and if you want to relax a little bit and let's say it's a great weather and you know what to do, well, let's go for relaxation. So I'll put a link for both spa, the Scandinav and Bota Bota in the uh, uh, comment box below. So the old port also has got a beautiful architecture. You've got those big buildings with massive ceiling, huge windows. I remember about 
Well, I suppose like since 2001 I was looking to buy an apartment. I visited a few here. Then most of them are love style and you've got fantastic volume. The downside they're quite dark, most of them, because the streets are quite narrow. Uh, but you find some beautiful places and actually the value just went up and up and up after the years after years. Um, Montreal is used a lot for the movie industry. Um, some US production don't want to go all the way to Europe, so they come to Montreal to film. Because one side of the street they'll be in North America, and then just across the street they can pretend they're in Europe. We've got uh, all carriage with horses, uh, all streets, all stones. So it's actually perfect, and people will think we're like two centuries ago uh, back in the old France. Um, yeah, so that will be the uh, end for the vlog today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to put some comments, subscribe if you haven't. Just in two more weeks of October and after I resume the normal videos and then till then I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!